Larry McGuire is a member of parliament and um, he had actually uh, contacted me uh, uh, a, a year or two ago now um, because he had a, he's always had a strong interest in the, in the subject um, uh, out of his personal interest. But, and, and I'll go back to the Transport Canada cases. Um, part of the problem is we have these pilot cases that are, are making their way to Transport Canada. And the argument is, if these UFOs uh, and things that are reported by Transport Canada um, are not real, whatever that might mean, uh, let's say the pilot is mistaken. Well, it, it's not good for pilots to be mistaken about things that are flying around in the sky. There are cases where um, some of the instruments on board the aircraft uh, show, for example, the radar shows there's something there when there's not anything there, or conversely, um, it, it doesn't detect something that people are seeing with their own eyes. Now, if there's an equipment malfunction, uh, that should be of concern as well. So mm. even if you take aliens out of the question, and we haven't brought that up yet, thankfully, but if you take that out of the equation, there's a lot of reasons why UFO reports should be studied and investigated. You know, if it's a problem with the pilots, a problem with the technology, if it's some sort of other natural phenomenon, you know, these are all good reasons to investigate. So uh, one of the reasons that Larry McGuire had contacted me was to find out information about what's going on in Canadian skies. And um, somebody had filed a, uh, an Access to Information Act request in, in Canada. It's an Access to Information in the United States. It's a Freedom of Information Act um, for what the Canadian government, you know, has been doing recently regarding UFOs because the Minister of National Defence in 2021 um, requested a briefing on what the Canadian uh, military was doing on UFOs. They, uh, the, whoever filed the request, got the briefing or the slides from the briefing, and it's actually I'm actually mentioned on the slides um, as being a, a person who's investigating the UFOs in Canada and working with National Defense, which I I do I suppose, um, and um, because of that connection. There is this interest in, in what's going on in the sky. And Larry McGuire also looked specifically at what's going around at nuclear bases. This comes from uh, a lot of the, the popular ufology right now. Robert Salas and people like that are saying, you know, UFOs are attracted to nuclear bases and so forth. What about the nuclear bases in Canada or nuclear sites in Canada? And we do have a number of them. Um, as a matter of fact, there's one called Pickering, which is a, a little ways east of Toronto. Um, and so I was asked, are, are there UFO reports in the Canadian UFO survey database of 25,000, any of those anywhere near nuclear sites? And it's a pretty simple procedure just to do a search. And sure enough, if you put in Pickering into the database, it pops up about 50 times. Um, so yes, there are UFOs associated with nuclear sites in, uh, in Canada. And I, I gave that information to uh, Larry McGuire and he is curious, he wants to know is there any security issue regarding UFOs or UAPs or nuclear sites in, in Canada? And that was actually picked up by another MP, um, uh, also uh, from Manitoba, oddly enough. Um, and uh, she also raised the issue with uh, the, uh, the, uh, the minister in charge of the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, because they're also involved in this. Uh, and since then, a third member of parliament has uh, taken some interest. So there, is some interest in uh, by Canadian members of parliament and politicians related to what's going on and certainly spurred by what's going on. Because in addition to contacting me, Larry McGuire contacted um, a number of individuals in uh, the Scientific Coalition for Ufology and also contacted Luis El Elizondo uh, and Hal Pudoff and they also gave some presentations to him. So he's getting information from a lot of disparate um, directions and thankfully at least he's getting some from the, the Canadian side as well. So I tried to, to provide as much as possible.